Hey, shalom, hey, shalom. When I start with those, we'll give no praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Makar, Kodash. The Balana said the Apostles of Jim has an honor to you, brothers, doing work in truth, while sincerity. Yes, it's, um, it's the quick one, you know, it's something that was uh, uh, a topic that just kept coming up over and over again when I was with the Akim yesterday. And, um, you know, it's basically women of Israel are through, man. They're through. And, you know, more so the, uh, you know, the, you know, the so-called black woman, she's through. Right, so you know, I'm 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 a relatively young man. I'm like 22, right? And you know, I'll hear my age mates, you know, uh, would you call it, you know, but people I went to school with this that, and the other, right? Even when um, would you call it, uh, you know, people around that age, talking about how they wear wigs like it's nothing. 22 years old wearing wigs, right? And you know, my nan is around what 60, 70, and she doesn't wear a wig. Does she own wigs? Yes, but for the you know more times when I see it, she's you know got rocking her own hair, right? But these, like I said, but these time you have um, you know women our age, my age, twenty two, talking about how they wear wigs, and you're just like, oh fucking hell, you know, fucking. I mean, that's that's a damn shame, man, right? Because you read First Corinthians eleven and fifteen it says, but if a woman have long hair, it's glory to her. For her hair is given her for a covering, right? You know, and you can see in whenever you just call it, you know, you see Jake women fighting. What's what's one of the things they always do? You know, they'll take that wig off or pull that weave out because it's a what do you call it? It's um, you know, embarrassment, right? One of the arguments tell me how one woman's uh, wig came off at work and she. She, what would you call it? She jumped underneath the table. She hid straight away in, in embarrassment, right? Her manager was laughing and the customers were laughing, right? Because it's a damn shame. It's, it's, it, it's disgusting, you know? Imagine you're, you know, you're getting some sloppy top and all you want to do is pull your woman's hair back and instead of pulling it back, you take the wig off. That's, that's through, right? But I, I mean, as I've done this video, um, would you call it a similar video before about the curses, right? And it's a major curse, right? It says Isaiah three sixteen says moreover Yahweh saith because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes and walking, and mincing as they go and making tinkling with their feet, right? Basically, they're proud, man. And you know, yesterday as well, just for just for science' sake, right? I basically performed, I was with the Archeum, you know, just going for a walk and that. I performed an experiment, right, where you had um one Jake chick who was fucking overweight, it was disgusting, and another Jake chick, both wearing ugly weaves or wigs or whatever, right? And I very politely said, hey, how are you doing? Right? And you, you saw, they, they didn't even want to chat to man. They didn't even want to say anything. Yeah, I'd said I'd say the same thing to say he, the woman that walked past. And they were digging. Right? But like I said, these two Jake women were through their proud. How can you be walking around proud where you haven't even got your own fucking hair, man? That's a disgrace. Right? And those were the argument. They saw was like, they was like, man, well, you know, they they understood I did it for it, for, for science sake. But they were like, yo, man, why did you, you even chat to them beasts, man? Right? It says uh, verse 17 of Isaiah, the third chapter says, Therefore, Yahweh will smite, will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and Yahweh uh, will discover their secret parts. Right? So, yeah, that, I mean, the fact that the Jake woman hasn't got any hair, that's, you know, that's a curse of the Lord. Right? Because you, as we read here, 1 Corinthians 11, that is, you know, glory unto her. Right? Which is why. Us, we don't have our women in order because that's a glory unto the man, right? Uh, where does it say that? It says it somewhere here. Yeah, it verse 7. It says, for, in 1 Corinthians 11 and 7, so for man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of the Most High, but the woman is the glory of the man, Right? So when you, when you actually read First Corinthians 11, what you understand is, uh, if I remember, was it Jeremiah 3 or Jeremiah 6? I don't know if you, Jeremiah, might be Jeremiah 6. 
Well, this is um, Jeremiah 6 and 2 says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Right, so the nation of Israel, we're the most highest woman, right? So which is why we don't, uh, which and we, we, we went the fuck off, right? So if the law can't have his woman, why can we have our women, right? Now our women are off, which is why they can't have, they don't have any hair, right? And that's, that's a curse, and this curse is, um, you, you know it's a curse because, you, for instance, I'll be reasoning with, um, not reasoning, I remember there was one mixed, quote-unquote, mixed race girl. Right, and then she had short hair, and I was like, oh, yo, how come your hair's short? And she basically was like how the black girls told her to cut it. Why? Because ultimately, her herself was a nigger woman. She was a nigger woman. She just looked, you know, um, you know, quote unquote, mixed race, as 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 you know, as people say in the common world. Right? Why? Because these curses pursue thee, man. You know, you read Deuteronomy twenty eight. It says these curses shall pursue thee and shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder, right? But yeah, that's that's mainly what I wanted to touch on, man. You got a black woman just walking around proud, but she doesn't even have her own fucking hair, which is a disgrace, right? But the, the flip side is, man, you know, in the kingdom, right? When we when we're glorified, when we're right, you know, and that's the thing. If the most size woman is right, then our woman's right. Then our woman has her own hair, right? Because they, they, you know, it's not right that that chain is ever broken. How we cannot be right, but most times women, but our women can be right. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, Lord's will, you know, so this quick one. Lord's will be been edified and I'll say shalom.